Imagine if I told you that a piece of steel the size of an A4 paper could lift two fully loaded Boeing 737 aircraft. Would you believe me? This is the real technology that Xiaomi is using in their first SUV, the YU7. Today, we'll dive deep into this electric SUV dubbed the Mobile Fortress and explore how Chinese automakers are achieving breakthrough innovations in safety technology. Hello everyone, welcome to Volt China. Today we're discussing a topic that has shocked the global automotive industry, Xiaomi YU7's safety technology revolution. On June 26 evening, Xiaomi CEO Lei Jun held the official launch event for the YU7. But behind all the flashy tech demonstrations, one question has been bothering me. When all major automakers are promoting safety performance, how effective are these technologies in real crash scenarios? Let's start with a stunning number. 2,200 megapascals. This is the tensile strength of the ultra-high-strength hot-form steel used in Xiaomi YU7's body structure. To help you better understand this concept, let me make some comparisons. Smartphone tempered glass, 200 to 300 megapascals. Construction rebar, 500 to 600 megapascals. Mainstream hot-form steel, 1,500 megapascals. Tesla Model Y's hardest section. 1,700 megapascals, Xiaomi. YU7, 2,200 megapascals. What does this mean? Theoretically, a piece of 2,200 megapascals, hot-formed steel the size of an A4 paper, could support the weight of two fully loaded Boeing 737s. Compared to traditional materials, this steel has 24% higher yield strength and 40% higher tensile strength. But here's the key question. Why don't other manufacturers use this material? The answer is simple. Technical difficulty and cost. This ultra-high-strength steel must be hot-pressed at approximately 900 degrees Celsius, then rapidly cooled to form a martensitic structure. The entire process requires extremely high equipment precision. If the pressing dies forming accuracy doesn't meet standards, the part can only be scrapped. There's no way to repair it. It's like demanding a tank to have the agility of a sports car. The technical challenge is enormous, but having the hardest material isn't enough. The real innovation lies in making vehicles both hard and soft. This is the core contradiction in automotive safety engineering. Xiaomi's engineers developed what they call an armor cage body structure. This design is based on the energy-absorbing crumple zone concept proposed by Mercedes engineer Bela Berenyi in 1952, but with revolutionary improvements. Frontal collision protection. According to US IHS data, frontal collisions have the highest probability among all accidents, with small angle collisions accounting for one-third of frontal impacts. Traditional vehicles in 25% offset collisions are prone to front compartment structural severance, A-pillar bending, and tire intrusion into the passenger compartment. Xiaomi's solutions include 1. Extended front crumple zone nearly 100 mm more buffer distance than Tesla Model Y2. Adopting wheel rotation plus body sliding energy release method, allowing the vehicle to slide around obstacles after impact, reducing passenger compartment impact, side collision protection. The vehicle's side area for resisting collisions is relatively small, so material strength is emphasized. Xiaomi uses 2,200 megapascals ultra-high strength hot form steel in A pillars, B pillars, and door panel reinforcements, achieving 52.4% improvement in front door load capacity, 40.2% improvement in front door anti-intrusion beam energy absorption, 37.6% improvement in rear door load capacity, 25.4% improvement in rear door anti-intrusion beam energy absorption. Due to their higher center of gravity, SUVs have a greater rollover risk than sedans. Racing cars use roll cages to protect drivers. But such conspicuous structures aren't suitable for civilian vehicles. Xiaomi's innovative solution is invisible roll cage technology. They inject special materials into gaps in the body's cross beams, creating structures similar to ice cube storage, forming an encompassing passenger compartment protection system. When the crumple zones are removed, what remains is a solid structure, providing comprehensive protection for the passenger compartment. Handling rear-end accidents is more complex, because it requires balancing safety and repair costs. 
Xiaomi adopted a three-stage design. 1. External crash beam. Resists low-speed collisions, reducing daily repair costs. 2. Middle longitudinal beam. Handles medium to high-speed collisions with specially designed energy-absorbing areas. 3. Rear floor panel. Handles high-speed rear impacts. Designed for 56 km per hour full collision and 90 km per hour, 70% MDB collision standards. This design ensures both safety and controlled repair costs. Xiaomi YU7 safety technology isn't just a materials breakthrough, it's a manufacturing revolution. To achieve mass production of 2,200 megapascals hot formed steel, Xiaomi essentially redesigned their entire production line. The rear body section uses large die casting machines for one piece integral casting, which is obviously more crash resistant than traditional assembly of dozens or hundreds of welded parts. YU7's torsional rigidity reaches 47,610 newton meters. What does this number mean? During driving, the body can better resist deformation and provide better handling performance. It maintains better structural integrity when subjected to compression. Combined with a 1,500 megapascal bottom scrape protection beam and the same bulletproof coating as the SU7 Ultra, YU7 provides comprehensive protection across various road conditions. From initial test results, various testing institutions have given excellent scores. This isn't just Xiaomi's victory. It could potentially become a new benchmark for global electric SUV safety standards. Now I want to ask you viewers, when choosing an electric vehicle, where does safety rank among your considerations? Is it performance, range, smart features, or safety? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Let's return to the fundamental question. How effective are these technologies in real accidents? In 2023, an incident occurred in California where a Tesla Model Y fell from an 80-meter cliff. Yet its key structural components remained intact and the occupant survived. This case demonstrates the importance of modern automotive safety technology. Xiaomi yu 7s safety technology shows significant improvements over the Model Y and should theoretically provide better protection. But we must emphasize, no matter how advanced passive safety technology becomes, the driver remains the primary safety responsibility bearer. Xiaomi's investment in safety technology reflects an important trend. Chinese automakers are shifting from pursuing cost-effectiveness to pursuing technological leadership. This change is evident not only in new energy technology, but also in unsexy, yet crucial areas like safety technology. From a global automotive industry development perspective, Xiaomi YU7's safety technology innovation has significant implications. Technology democratization. Traditionally, the most advanced safety technologies first appear in luxury models, then gradually trickle down to regular models. As a newcomer, Xiaomi directly applies top-tier safety technology to relatively affordable price ranges. This technology democratization trend is worth noting. Competitive landscape changes. Chinese automakers' technological accumulation in new energy is translating into comprehensive competitive advantages. Safety technology breakthroughs could become a new advantage for Chinese brands in global market competition. Standard setting influence. If Xiaomi yu 7s safety technology gains market recognition, it could drive improvements in global automotive safety standards, forcing other manufacturers to adopt similar technologies. Xiaomi yu 7s safety technology innovation represents a breakthrough for the Chinese automotive industry in high-end technology fields. From 2,200 megapascals, ultra-high-strength steel, to armor cage body structure, from invisible roll cages, to layered collision protection. The integrated application of these technologies demonstrates Chinese manufacturers' ambition and capability in safety technology. But we must also recognize that building a car isn't difficult. Building a safe car is extremely challenging. Without advanced equipment, insufficient R&D investment, and incomplete process loops, it's impossible to create safer automobiles. More importantly, in the mathematical world, 100 minus 1 equals 99, but in an accident, 100 minus 1 could mean the difference between life and death. No matter how advanced passive safety technology becomes, driver safety awareness and driving skills remain the most important safety factors. 
Xiaomi's investment and innovation in safety technology deserve recognition. But the real test lies in how these technologies perform in actual use. We look forward to seeing more test data and real-world application feedback. Finally, I want to say that Xiaomi YU7's safety technology innovation isn't just one company's achievement. It represents a new height for the Chinese automotive industry in global competition. This emphasis on an investment in safety technology reflects Chinese manufacturers' reverence for user safety and sense of responsibility. Thank you for watching today's program. If you found this video valuable, please like, subscribe, and share it with more friends interested in Chinese new energy vehicle technology. Tell me your thoughts on Xiaomi YU7's safety technology in the comments. See you next time.